Duma OS 4 launches this month and in our nearly 10 year history, it's safe to say it is the biggest update we have ever made. It comes with a range of powerful new features that quite literally change the game of network optimization. But it's not only new features that we're adding, we have also completely overhauled the user interface. We've always understood the crucial role the interface plays for our users. How else can you fine tune the best settings for your favorite games? However, the Duma OS 3 UI had its limitations. The navigation was often slow and mobile support was limited. Frankly, we knew we could do better. So, when we set out to create Duma OS 4, we posed a challenge to ourselves. Can we develop an interface that's fast, responsive, works seamlessly on both mobile and desktop, and is incredibly user-friendly? The result is a brand new Duma OS UI, exclusively crafted for Duma OS 4. Every feature has been reimagined and redesigned. Duma OS 4 is accessible via a desktop view, the Duma OS mobile app and also in your phone's browser. Whatever way you choose to access Duma OS, settings and changes made will be synced across all platforms. Let's give you a tour of Duma OS 4 on our brand new R3 router. Once you are through the setup wizard, the first screen you'll see when opening Duma OS is the new dashboard. This is much more comprehensive than the previous version and provides a complete network overview as well as easy links to some of the most important features. For R3 users, it will include RGB controls. There's some really cool stuff you can do here which we'll go through in a future video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel to not miss out on this one. You can see moving between features is now much quicker than before. The load times and responsiveness across desktop and mobile versions of Duma OS have been greatly improved. GeoFilter 2.0's map has been redesigned and is much quicker now. All server information and graphs are included within the side panel. There is also the addition of the new steady ping technology here too. We have a whole video diving into these features coming very soon. Ping heat map also includes the redesigned map, which loads and populates server locations much quicker as well. Smart Boost is probably the most visually different feature compared to before. Smart Boost makes it much easier to see what traffic is being prioritized on your network, and you can easily set your priorities. We already have a video covering this feature, which will be linked in the description below if you want to learn more. Network Monitor and Data History have been combined into a new feature, Network Activity. This allows you to look at your network usage over time and easily toggle between splitting your network by device or by application. You can also see specific application traffic on your network in real time. Device Manager shows all devices connected to your network. The design of the network layout has been changed to better fit the page as more devices are added. You can also now toggle it to just show online devices. Device Specific Data History is also shown in the side menu. Adblocker has been slightly redesigned but functions in the same way it always has. You are able to see all blocked domains across all devices with the graph at the bottom. The redesigned speed test and ping optimizer features are also accessible from the side menu and will help you check your line quality is optimal for gaming. A lot of the more technical features have been rehoused in the settings menu. Features like internet rules, hybrid VPN and network settings all have improved UI. Currently, Duma OS 4 comes with two themes, light and dark, but there are plans to include more themes in the future to be able to fully customize the look of your Duma OS. Overall, Duma OS 4 has been designed with the user experience as the main focus. We've tried to make every feature as easy as possible to use, so the benefits will be accessible to everyone. We have so many more Duma OS 4 and R3 videos coming out soon, diving into many of the features you saw in this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel to not miss out on any information. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.